What's going on guys, this is Astrum Sensei and welcome back to Let's Create an Action Role Playing Game using Unreal Engine 4. So in today's video we're actually gonna pause on making the enemy AI and we're actually gonna add the jumping because a lot of you guys have requested that I add jumping. So yeah, let's do this. So. Um, I'm getting an animation from Mixamo again, and uh, I know all of those are very bad um, for uh, like the jumping ones, exactly. They're all so bad, but uh, yeah, I've picked this one, it's a bit more, you know, role playing style, so um, maybe it's a bit too high, but I found it to be the most um, suited for our game, so I chose it and I've downloaded it, and it's on my desktop. Um, so yeah, download it and make sure that you choose in place when you download it. By the way, I actually wanted to show you my Patreon page, which is now a lot cheaper. I know the pricing was very terrible when I first like started it, but yeah, right now I've made them all the th the three main ones that these two I've made them cheaper because um, yeah it's more accessible so right now you can get the project files for five dollars and the early access for three dollars so make sure to check it out but uh, yeah you don't have to if you don't want it so yeah here's my animation and here's my project so the first thing you'll notice is that I've organized it a little bit like the folders so yeah, please do that. Uh, I'm actually gonna set a new color for the starter stuff folder and I'm gonna make it darker than gray, I guess. It looks dark and cool. So yeah, we're actually gonna go into the animations folder and we're gonna import our jumping animation and place it here and choose our skeleton as always. It's Maria and import. So yeah, now that we've imported our animation, we're actually gonna use the project settings and um, go to input and action mappings. We already have the action mapping for the jump, but uh, it's disabled, jumping is disabled and we used the spacebar for blocking so I'm gonna change the one for blocking to the Q button for now I know I'm gonna change it later for sure but uh, yeah I think Q is fine now since we're not gonna use it and make sure spacebar is for jump because that's the golden rule of PC gaming I guess So yeah, now that we've added an input, I'm actually going to create an anim montage and um, yeah, just call it jump montage. And what we're going to do now is we're actually going to open the montage and uh, I'll explain it right now. You know, it's fun. You know, it's a lot of fun working on easy st easier stuff. So yeah. I wish all of it was this easy. So right now, um, this is our animation in the animation montage and um, basically what we want to do is we want to divide our animation to three parts which are the jump start which goes from the floor to the, you know, the jump position and in the middle of the air we actually want to choose a very small part and choose it for the looping for for whenever you're falling and the third part will be the landing which uh, is the landing part so i would really recommend doing this with three different animations instead of taking an anim montage and uh, dividing it into three but uh, in mixamo there are only um there's a loop animation and there's a land animation but i couldn't find a um you know from the ground to jump without the landing part so for now we're just gonna do it this way and when we replace our character and animations we're actually gonna change it with that type of um 
uh, set up so for now we're just gonna do this until we have our you know main character done and ready for um, the game so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna over here I'm simply gonna um, choose where the jumping part ends and basically i'm gonna choose where the loop starts and where it ends right now because the f default the default part <coughs> excuse me the default part is already um ready so we're just gonna choose a very small second for the looping which is the falling mm, i would take something from here like this and i'm gonna right click on it and new montage section I'm gonna call it loop and right now this is the loop part now we're gonna choose where it ends just a small you know split second and I'm gonna create a new montage section I'm gonna call it end I guess you know it's done very well in the um, no, I'm not going to call it and that's a terrible, terrible choice. I'm actually going to call it, um, what did I do? Oh my God. Okay. Over here. Yeah, it's very well done in the, um, third person example, um, anime montage. I'm, I'm going to show you right now. So yeah, I'm going to create a montage section and I'm going to call it land. So if we press, if we double click on it here, no, not here, here, the looping part will actually loop. So if I click default and I start it, yeah, this is the looping part. And as you can see, it's horrible. So we need to make it even smaller. You know, it's very, very ugly. I don't know how to fix it. The animation itself is very terrible, so I'm not sure if I can, if there's anything I can do about it. As you can see, it's very ugly. How do I fix it? I'm not sure. I don't think it can be fixed in any way, uh, other than making it very small. Yeah, it looks like she's having a seizure, but I guess it's better than nothing. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah, like this. It's fine. For now, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I didn't intend to have a lot of jumping. Uh, I didn't intend to have uh, jumping at all in this game, but you guys wanted it, so I decided to show you. So you probably have better animations if you're making a like an entire game so good luck with that making a game with mixamo animations is just horrible so i'm gonna open the bp base and um, basically this is our blueprint and in the movement graph i'm actually gonna just over under the crouch i'm gonna type jump jump and input action input input action jump and when pressed just type jump and this jump uh, function is basically built into this um, character class so whenever you have a character this jumping part is um, always there so you probably already know that after the jumping we're gonna play anim montage And uh, the start section name will be none. We're just gonna choose the jump montage. So right now when we play it, we're actually gonna jump and keep looping, as you can see. Mm. I think this jump uh, animation is way too high, so that's horrible, but I guess um, if you've chosen another one um, 
it won't be like this um, so yeah I think there's a way to fix that but let's just deal with it later right now we're gonna add the landing so basically we're gonna make a new node and it's called event on landed and we're gonna play an animontage we're just gonna copy this one and basically the only thing you want to change is the start section name I'm gonna call it land this is the land part we've created we're selling it to start the animation from there so yeah let's put our sword back and jump and land so yeah, as you can see it works if the animation jump wasn't too high it would work very well but um, let's see if we can fix that I'm not sure if it's, if it's gonna work because um, if we change the jump height uh, the uh, animation will also jump higher so I'm not very sure how to fix it but um, yeah it's the problem it, the problem is with the animation itself you're probably not gonna have the problem if you chose another one so please choose another one this one's horrible I guess I had ba bad uh, judgment uh, I might change it between the parts so yeah there's no point in showing you that you know I'm gonna try it anyway so if we added this uh, change this one to um, wasn't there a jump height hmm I'm not sure okay we're gonna change this one to maybe 700 I'm pretty sure it's still not gonna be the same we're still having issues with our sword we also want to fix that yeah it's still terrible I think there might be a way to change that and that is um, wait I'm gonna return my jump velocity don't mess with that um, um, so I think if we change our play rate to 2 and over here too she might land properly no it's definitely not gonna work maybe if I only change the land part no yeah it's it's a bit better so as you can see she doesn't get stuck before landing anymore it's still a very bad uh, animation I might have to change it between the parts but yeah I showed you how to do it so make sure to ch choose wisely which animation you use um, thank you for watching this video I really hope you guys like the video and subscribe and um, check out my patreon and join the discord server and do all the love that you can I guess um, yeah uh, the next part we're actually gonna continue the um, patrolling for the enemy and uh, then we're gonna make them attack us like play an attack animation when the enemy reaches us um, yeah please look forward to that and see you in the next video take care and bye